Aya. Aya, what are you doing here? I'll just drop Sam off. Where? Daniels is tutoring him. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Just, you know, I wanted to check he was all right after, uh, after what happened. Oh, it's fine, thanks. I mean, it was me who nearly had a nervous breakdown until I found out it was just an accident. I did say some pretty harsh things to Nick, though, so I'm guessing I'm back off Gail's Christmas cards. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't worry about that. Any mum would have done the same. Like I said, I'm, I'm just glad he's all right. Anyway, I better go. See you. See ya. Natasha, wait. I told you. I spoke to a solicitor, and even if we withdraw our statements, they could still read the originals in court and we could still be made to testify. Well, not if you and Curly Head don't make it to court. Yeah, well, before you start threatening me and my family, there is another way out of this. Well, it better be good for your sake, I'm telling you. We wait for the trial, we testify, but we say that our statements were wrong and that you weren't involved. But I'm only prepared to do that if you and your low-life mates leave me and my family alone, and that includes Sam. And I'm supposed to trust you're going to do that? Yeah, well, we're just going to have to trust each other, aren't we? I'll be in touch. <sighs> well? Uh, I don't know. You might go for it. I still think you're making a mistake. Yeah, well, one in a long flaming line of him. Who's that? Okay, where's Sam? <laughs> As if you care! What? Shona told me about what really happened. My son was kidnapped and you didn't even tell me! Uh, look, I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. I panicked. Well, here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna call the police and tell them the truth about what those animals did to my son! Yeah, trust me. That's not a good idea. Trust you. After this, you and her are the dodgiest people I've ever met. OK, look, going to the police is going to put Sam in more danger. Yeah, we've got to be really careful how we play this. Yeah, I know you're angry, OK? I wanted to keep you both out of this. Shona shouldn't have told you. Where's Sam now? Having his tuition with Daniel. Oblivious to the fact that he might get bundled into the back of a van again when he leaves. That's not going to happen. I've said that I'm going to defend the ringleader in court, so he's going to leave my family alone, and that includes Sam. All oh, right. And you think you can trust him? How did you get involved with these people in the first place? All I'm saying is, these people get what they want. All oh, right. So now you've cut a deal with Pablo Escobar, we can all sleep safe. Dream on. My son was kidnapped. And I want the person who did it found, arrested and locked up for a long time. And if you won't report it to the police, I will. If you've come to talk me out of this, forget it. I'm sorry. I never would have told you if I thought you were going to go straight to the police, OK? This is a really delicate situation. I can't believe Nick's got caught up in all this. Yeah, because Simon and Leanne were in danger. They couldn't just stand by and watch. But he would never intentionally put Sam in harm's way. He loves him. I, I know this is hard for you to get your head round, but Nick and Leanne are sorting in it and we have just got to trust them. Oh, they're all scared to death of this Harvey guy. I'm not. Right. I know this is out of your comfort zone. You know, drug dealers and court cases, and it is the last thing that you're going to want Sam to get involved in. I have to protect him. Yes. But can't you see? If you get the police involved, it could put Sam in even more danger. <laughs> I talked her out of it, but she's still pretty angry. Yeah, so am I. Well, thanks won't go amiss. What? She's trying to do you a favour. All this is your mess. All right, you two. It's sorted. Natasha isn't going to the police, and the last thing we need is you two at each other's throats. 